Welcome to Lecture 1, B, of the course Mathematical Foundations of Signal Processing. Today's lecture is about matrices with basic operations, notations and applications. In the many mathematical developments that will be encountered in the course, it will be convenient to introduce vectors and matrices to represent signals and the operations that will be performed on these signals. A M by N, matrix is an array of numbers, real or complex, or functions having M rows and N columns. If M is equal to N, that is, if the number of rows and the number of columns are equal, we have a square matrix. Matrices are denoted by capital letters. A vector is a type of matrix having an array of values either real or complex and usually represented by lowercase bold letter. A matrix having a single column is called column vector. Similarly a matrix having a single row is called a row vector. If the values are real then real vector, otherwise, complex. For example, the two matrices on the top left corner are column vectors of dimension, 2 by 1 and 3 by 1. The two matrices on the top right corner are row vectors of dimension, 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. The matrix in the bottom left is a 3 by 3 matrix and is symmetrical, that is, if we interchange the rows and columns, we get the same matrix. The matrix in the bottom right is a 3 by 3 matrix and is called identity matrix having diagonal elements as 1 while the rest of values are 0. The basic operations include addition, subtraction, multiplication, inverse etc. Two matrices can be added or subtracted only if they have the same dimension. A and B are 3 by 3 square matrices and addition operation is shown where the corresponding elements are added together. In scalar multiplication, each entry in the matrix is multiplied by the given scalar. The transposition involves the operation to flip the matrix over its diagonal. It swaps the rows and columns indices of the given matrix A and results in another matrix represented by A transpose. If A and its transpose are equal, matrix A is called symmetric. The dot product of two vectors is the sum of the products of the corresponding elements of the two sequences. For given two vectors U and V, having the same dimension, the dot product for complex numbers is Hermitian transpose of vector U multiplied with corresponding entries of V. The Hermitian operation is the complex conjugate transpose of U. For the real case it's only the transpose of vector U. The products are summed together to get the final scalar value. The symbolic notation is very important and help to understand what is happening in a signal processing algorithm. Some properties of the dot product are shown. Let's see an example. We have three vectors including u equal to the sequence minus 1, 3, v equal to the sequence 2, minus 4 and w equal to 1, minus 2. The solution to find the dot product of u and v results in the scalar minus 14. We get another vector sequence minus 14, 28 when the result of dot product of u and v is multiplied with vector w. Similarly one can see the answer of part b. We have another example with a row vector of size 1 by 4 having entries 1 to 4 and another column vector of size 4 by 1 with entries 5 to 8. In such a case no transpose is required. The result of dot product is shown as 70 for each sum of products. An important application is to use the dot product as a filtering operation or a correlation operation. In filtering one vector corresponds to the input and the second vector have entries of the filter weights, the output is the dot product of both sequences. Similarly correlation in the case of code division multiple access or CDMA, one vector is the received sequence and the second vector is the chip sequence. In this case if both the sequences are orthogonal, the dot product will be zero or very small. The correlation will be maximum if the two sequences are similar. Maximum correlation means data belongs to the intended user who have the sequence. We have two other practical examples. In a given week, a seller sold 10 of his type A cars. 5 of type B cars, 8 of type C cars and 3 of type D cars. 
the prices of these cars are respectively 12,500, 11,800, 15,900 and 25,300 US dollars. The total revenue will be the sum of products of the sequence of the number of cars and their prices as shown. Similarly, the total cholesterol calculated as the sum of high density lapids, low density lapids and dry glyceride. For the calculation triglyceride is taken as 20%. The total cholesterol will be calculated using dot product as shown. We have another important operation of matrix multiplication. Given a matrix A of size M by N multiplied with another matrix B of size N by P. That is, two matrices can be multiplied if the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the rows of the second matrix. The result matrix will have a size M by P, that is, it will have the number of rows equal to the first matrix and number of columns equal to the second matrix. In the given examples, multiplication is not possible in C. An example of how the multiplication is performed is shown. We have a 1 by 2 row vector, and a 2 by 2 matrix. The result should be of size 1 by 2. The first element of the result matrix is calculated as the sum of product of the row vector and first column of second matrix. Similarly, the second entry is calculated as the sum of product of the given row vector and the second column of second matrix. Here we have provided where you can see whether multiplication is possible or not. It should be noted that if both the matrices are square matrices with same dimensions, the multiplication is possible. The matrix multiplication of two matrices can be seen as rows columns dot product operations. We have two matrices. The first matrix is 2 by 3 and the second matrix is 3 by 2. The result matrix shall be 2 by 2. The first entry in the first column of the result matrix is calculated as the sum of product of first row of first matrix and first column of second matrix. The second entry of the first column of the result matrix is sum of product of second row of first matrix and first column of the second matrix. Similarly the entries of second column of result matrix are calculated by the sum of products of the first and second rows with the second column of the second matrix. Here we have shown an animation of how the multiplication process works when both the matrices are 3 by 3 and the result matrix is also a 3 by 3 matrix. An entry in the result matrix is calculated as the dot product of the corresponding row and column vectors as shown by the red color. In this animation, the multiplication of matrix with a rotation matrix is shown. This shows how each entry in the sum of products is calculated at intermediate level and the final summation is performed to get the final values of the result matrix. In the next video, we will be presenting determinant of a matrix, inverse, and linear system of equations. If you have found this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel for future notifications. Thank you very much indeed.